Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Quest for Glory. When last we left off, we had just gotten all the way out here to Irana's Peace after realizing very quickly we were almost out of stamina. And we now need to go and uh, sort out the issue with that cave. Because if I recall correctly, that is paramount to the story in some degree. So let's see. Let's walk. Let's shuffle past the ogre. Azure Eyes, okay, yeah, we, we are familiar with this part. Let's grab the food. Let us feed the bear. You happily made this... You have made this bear very happy. It would be wise to take advantage of his current mood. Let us, uh... Switch to sneak mode, if I recall. Let's go this way. Don't mind me. Do not mind me. Do not mind me. Just going in here. This section of the cave is has an eerie quality. You see a kobold resting on the ledge across from you. He has something on his neck, if I recall. Yoink. Yoink. Uh-oh. You've awakened the kobold. You! You go! You no stay here! No, 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 no issue with me. Go! You fool! Oh, did that not give me the key? Well, that's annoying. Okay. Um, is he now still awake? Okay, so I have, in fact, forked that. Okay, well, time to load. Let us restore. Alright, heading out. So that we, you know, don't screw that up any further. No, no, don't bother me. Don't mind me. Okay, let us, uh... Alright, so... What we're going to do, instead of using the fetch spell, because we're not proficient in that uh, entirely, is we're just going to sneak up on this thing and kill it. Steppy, steppy. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Come on. I... Hmm. Okay, then. It would appear that, uh... It would appear, then, that I'm not able to, you know, get a stealth kill on it. So, it looks like a quasi-magic... Uh, quasi-wizard's duel. You know what? I wonder, can I actually hit this ogre? That did nothing. The hostile intent is evident. Prepare for battle. Oh, bugger. You know what? I think I can actually kill this thing. I could if I, you know, wasn't borking this up. Damn. Okay. I think it's time to, that we stop faffing about, and, uh... You pick up a variety of sweet-smelling flowers, as they seem to glow in your hand. You put them safely away. Okay. Neat. Let's go this way. Let's go around, because I don't feel like dealing with the ogre at the moment. Just in case I die again, I don't need to actually... Actually, hold on. Let me save in a different spot, because, uh... LT8, there we go. There we go. Let's... Oh, whoops. 
Wrong button. Um, there is there's a sneak. Let's go in there. Pick up the cobalt mushrooms and put them in your pack. I can't reach the key from here. You do a quick equipment check. Very carefully, you remove the key from around the cobalt's neck. We are a thief, after all. Let us get out of here before the cobalt notices. And let us utilize the key on... Thing. Cobalt's key disappears as you turn it in the lock. Whew. You have the honor of meeting Baronet Bernard von Spielberg. We are pleased that you have broken our enchantment. Perhaps our father the Baron will reward you should you ever visit our castle. The arrogance of, Baron of the Baronet ast astonishes you. Perchance the cobalt magic user had had a reason for changing him into a bear. Well, as you can see, guys, we've already finished um, half of the um, main quest. By freeing him, we've already uh, we've already done a fair section of the quest. Because uh, if you recall, that was one of the one of the people who went missing. So if we go talk to uh, the the Baron at this point. We might be able to actually get a reward for it. <clears throat> Pardon me. I needed to have a drink real quick. All right. Now, now that we have saved that, let's go this way. And I'm dead. Knew that was a bad plan. Alright, let's see if we can get around him this time. Run away! Scarper! We are scarpering! Okay, let us, well, for starts, let's walk, because we don't actually need to, uh, we don't need to sneak around. Let us keep going this way. Because we do, in fact, need to go talk to another um, uh, weird creature or interact with another weird creature. Hostile intent is evident. Stabby, 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 stabby. So I started shanking. And nine silver. Nice. So, there's that. If we were playing a different uh, playset, um, like that of the fighter, I would definitely have an easier time killing the ogre. Ah, and the frost giant. We already know what you say, and we know what you are here for. Give me that. The fruit definitely makes the uh, generous pile in the um, giant's hand, but they're not full yet. Oh. Oh, we can actually talk to him now. Bargain. Find me some fruit for the mellow, uh, for to mellow my mead horn. Gift I will give you of gem that glow that now glows. Jewel of Jotunheim. Flare of Frostfire. Fetch me the fruits that will fit up, fill up my fist. It looks like it's going to take a lot of fruit to fill up those fists. Mead. 
need is the mother's milk, mighty but mellow, that brings joy to giants and madness to men. Gem, glows of frost fire, that fills up the night fields. The jewel is flawless, the finest of gems. High point of harvest, the finest of flavors, apples or, or oranges, peaches or pears. Northlands, far from the frost norse, fair forth this fighter. And he basically says all of his normal stuff. Fighting, fiercer than frost's bite, my fury is fearless, my axe is the edge as it is the ice. This warrior is willing to wield now the war drum. The battle axe blazes and bellows for blood. Now, we could fight him, but being that we are not particularly good in combat, I don't rate our chances. However, let's see. Yeah, I think we died. Courage you carry, but skill it is scant and it is scanty. Face that not this foe before fiercer you fight. Oh. Oh. That's right. He's actually an honorable combatant. I forgot. All right. Well, let's let us leave this giant and uh, go retrieve more fruit. Because quite honestly, I I straight up forgot that that giant was actually a rather honorable. Fighter. Yeah, there's there's no there was no, you know, needing to uh engage him or, you know, worry about him going uh, full, you know, bloodthirst on me. Alright, so let's go. Let's actually pick up a bunch of rocks, because we still need to practice our throwing skills. Cause who knows, we may one day have enough daggers to actually we may actually have enough daggers to uh, start throwing them at people. Hello, centaur. Hi. I know that's not what a centaur would most likely sound like, but quite honestly, I thought that was funny. Let's go down here, over here, and down one more. I should put us here. Do we still have a bunch of mushrooms? Yes, we do. How many do we have? We have 12 mushrooms. We could probably turn those in to the healer to get stuff. Pick a small handful of mushrooms. Continue to pick all of the shrooms. Pick all the shrooms. Let's get, let's go on a trip. A massive trip of trippiness. That's not what I meant to click. Go that way. It's not the way I need to go either. Let's go that up there. Come on. Okay, where's the goblin field? There it is. Splat. 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 Stabby! Stabby for days! Through magic and blade, we felled these foes. This goblin's left shoe, you find eight silver. Wow. Found five silver concealed in the pouch, and clutched in his hand is four silver. Sweet! You get no response. Yes, that's right. Run, you bastards. Fear me. Fear me, for I am amazing. Dennis more, Dennis more, riding through the land. Dennis more, Dennis more, without the merry man. There's the centaur, he stops raking now. I have glitched. Oh my god, I've glitched. I wonder if that's pick. Yeah, I think that's picking up on the recording, so let's, uh... Let's go this way. Hopefully it fixes itself. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
looks like, folks, we are in the middle of glitched, of glitched territory. Uh, hmm. I may have to, uh, I, hmm, hmm. Not sure how to approach this. So I'm going to save, and I'm going to pause the recording, and see if that fixes it. Oh, Saurus! Alright, anyway, I'm going to save, and I'm going to pause the recording, and hopefully, when I come back, this will be fixed. So, don't mind me. And we're back. Apologies for the delay. Uh, had to restart the game. The sign appears. It reads, Welcome to Magic Mountain. I don't think I actually moved that far into this uh, screen, so let's see. Yeah, it does. Another sign appears. It reads, Now go home. But what, what if I want to? What if I want to go forward? Yeah, I'm going to go forward. And I'm all the way up there now. Could it be a bottle of purple salad dressing? It looks like a cross between a castle and an angry purple rhinoceros. Ah, this is Erasmus's place. You feel as though you just scaled the Matterhorn in full armor. What a climb. You can see all of Spielberg Valley from here. After you finally catch your breath, you can see that you've reached a rather eccentric-looking house and from, uh, that you saw from below. There's an ugly gargoyle above the entrance. Stand fast. He who would um, the wizard see first must answer three um, questions. Three. What is your name? I am Garen. What is your quest? I want glory. What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? So you put some deep thought into the question, eh? The wizard will now see you. Go directly up the tower. Do not dally. Well, that is certainly interesting. Unfortunately, for the great wizard, we don't have, um, we have other things to do. Because, you know, I'm weird like that. Now, let's see. Do, do we need to actually, um, rest for a bit? Let me check my, um, stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. All right, let's uh, let's go back to Uranus Peace because uh, that's a good spot to rest for the most part. All right, hopefully we don't get molested by anything on our way over. There we are. Let's go over here and eat fruit. Your hunger has been set totally satisfied. You don't need another piece of fruit. Good. Rest for 60 minutes. After some rest, you feel better. How much more do we need? You are too impatient to rest right now. Okay, that's fine. How much health do we have? Because we might have to quaff a potion. Mm, we're on an acceptable level of health. Alright, let's go this way. Run away from the goblin! Away from the goblin! Continuously away from the goblin! Uh-oh. Saurus! Stabby. Stabby. Stab it. Ow! Dick. Stop it. Return to the ether. Return to the earth. With your lack of treasure and my inability to skin you.
Granted, I'm not a hunter, I'm a hero, but... Come now. Any good adventurer would be able to skin that kind of thing. Consume fireball! Well, that happened. Where did I save last? Oh, before I went up the mountain. Let's go back down. Because, you know, we're weird like that. Alright. So, now that we've done that, let's go and... Because uh... hmm. I know we're not going to have enough... Uh stamina to properly fight those uh, uh fight that encounter um in the uh, goblin grove i wonder can we oh no no we can't use spells in town after 60 minutes of rest you feel better Oh, yeah, that's right. We're carrying a shitload of rocks. Which explains why we're constantly being fatigued. I feel smart. And we're, st and we're still carrying a bunch of mushrooms, too. Let's, let's, um, let us, let us rectify that problem. All right, she tells us we can come in. Well, what can I do for you this time? Uh, well... So starts, you can allow me the opportunity to give you the shrooms. You have ruined the mushrooms with toadstools. I cannot buy your mushrooms. What? Nandeo? Well, that's annoying. Thank you. I can always use the um, Iramis piece stuff. Here's your silver. Cool. All right. So how much did that give us? We have 35 silver pieces. So we have enough to get our, um, to get our thieves license. So there is that. I wonder, can I sell the mushrooms to anyone else? Can I sell the shrooms to you? It does not work. It does not work. Can I eat the shrooms? The shrooms are pretty good, so you hear. However, when you mix when mixed with cobalt toadstools, that's a horse of a different color. You eat some of the cobalt's fungus. Within seconds, your insides feel like you're on fire. Guess you're not a cobalt, huh? You think that you'd better take it easy uh, for a while, while until you recover. Oh, I think I overpicked. Well, that's annoying. I didn't realize that was possible. Now I feel like a tit. Alright, well, let's see. Actually, before we continue um or before we save for the uh for this session i'm going to go and see if we can actually talk to the uh baron and see if we can get a reward from him because if i recall correctly there's a chance that we might be able come come in come in you have been expected baron von, baron von spielberg is awaiting you in the castle ah yes that way
the Baron von Spielberg and the Baronet await you in the Great Hall. Words cannot express the gratitude I have towards you. Not only have you freed the Baroness from the enchantment and allowed my son to return, but you have renewed my hope that the curse may yet be lifted. My son, Baronet von, uh, Baron von Spielberg, also desires to acknowledge his indebtedness. Bernard! We, uh, that is, I, am appreciative of your efforts on my behalf. I sincerely hope you will continue your valiant adventures in our land. If anyone can rid this land of bandits, it will be you. Someday in the near future, I can envision holding a ceremony in your honor and bestowing upon you the title Hero of Spielberg. Bernard! It would be nice if someone would finally defeat the Barons and claim the title. As you leave your ca the castle tomorrow, you will receive a reward money I long ago posted to the safe return of my son, as a token of my thanks. You will, of course, be expected to dine with us and be our guest in the castle tonight. Do you have any questions? Ah, yes, we are... We are royal guests at the moment. Yay! Garen didn't expect to get this far. The castle. This castle has been in the family for two centuries. Now as a gift from King Siegfried III. Some years back, I tried to force, force the Urgress Baba Yaga to leave our, our valley. And she put a curse upon me that I should lose everything I held dear. When I lost my daughter and my son, I lost all interest in living. My land suffered because I suffered. Now, though, with the return of my son, I trust the prophecy is about to come true. Thank you. Thanks to you. Baba Yaga, I have attempted everything in my power to get rid of, uh, to get her to go away. I fear it will take some kind of magic to be able to counter her, ma to counter her own. Daughter, my beautiful little girl, daughter was stolen away ten years ago by Baba Yaga's magic. She has never been found, despite all searches that have been done for her. I thought she was lost forever. But you have re renewed my hope that I will want again have her beside me. Yorick. Yorick is my court jester, a man of infinite jest. He went off to find my daughter. But alas, poor Yorick never returned. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. Magic. I know very little about magic, much to my sorrow. Perhaps you should talk to the wizards Zara in town or Erasmus in on Zarberga. Prophecy. The prophecy states: Come a hero from the east, free the man in from in the beast, bring the child from the band, drive the cursor from the land. You enter here from the east. And you released my son from the form of a bear, certain you will fulfill the rest of it and remove this dread dreadful curse. Neat brigands. If I had more guards, I would wipe the brigands out myself now that I have my son at my side. It will take some time before this castle and land have recovered from my sorrow, so I still think it will take a hero to destroy the brigands. I know they have some kind of fortress to the far south of the valley. I have heard rumors they set up an ambush for uh, for all that approach. It is also rumored that there is another way into their fortress, but I have no further knowledge about that. Reward. I have offered a substantial reward for the return of my son and daughter, as well as for the leader and the br warlocks of the brigands. Brigand leader. There has always been brigands around, until the leader and the warlock showed up a few years ago. They have not been much of a problem then. The leader seems to be a brilliant strategist who manages each raid with little loss. Once the leader is gone, I'm sure the brigands can be easily defeated. The warlock. As if this valley wasn't plagued enough by evil, enough evil magic users. From what I've been told, his magic is 
is powerful, but it is it is used effectively. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, back it up. That is enough out of me. Now, I'm going to save this here. For when we come back, folks, we will continue and uh, see what the Baron has for us. I will catch you then, folks. See you later.